Yeah, all right. Um, today I'm gonna show you how to make a mod that repositions the left dead to like view models, uh, like where weapons are positioned on screen. As a prerequisite, like tools needed, you'll need GCF scape, which is this thing down here, and you'll need crowbar. Links to both will be in the description. So first of all, you're gonna want to actually find the model you want. So uh, yeah. Properties, local files, browse. Uh, go. Alright. Update. The update folder is last post last stand where a lot of the view models were changed to have jiggle bones. This method does not work with jiggle bone models, so we will not be using them. But the older models do work, however, they have bugs of their own, specifically with Left 4 Dead 1 characters. Not because of what I'm gonna do to them, but they're natively broken. And these. Four folders highlighted currently are what were used before the last stand update. So I'm just going to use Left 4 Dead as a base and open the pack 01 underscore die the dot vpk folder because it has all the sh models I need. So I'm going to go to models, uh, view models, and then I'm gonna look for a weapon I want. Uh, I, I did a recording earlier, but I used the wrong one. I'm gonna pick the the uh, AK, because it's a pretty ugly weapon, like it's first person. I'm gonna, oh, <laughs> that's the mod thing, that was the first recording. I'm gonna make a new folder and just select that. And I'm gonna close this, I'm gonna keep this open I guess. And uh, yeah, now we have the main folders, well not main. We're gonna make a decompiled folder. For where for later and a compiled folder for even later, which we're gonna do stuff with. And then you're gonna want to launch up Crowbar. Um, in a sub games tab, you might wanna, if it is already, you might wanna select Left 4 Dead and then you know point it, the these directories towards where your EXEs will be. But I already have it set up for myself, and if you don't know, there's probably a guy on YouTube to do it. Go to the decompile tab and uh, browse for your the, uh, the MDL you just decompiled. No, you just extracted with GCFscape. Pick that, and now go to your new folder and pick the decompiled, because this is the output folder you're going to want. Leave all of these the same, I think. I, but I don't have any issues. So decompile it. It's all like decompiled now. Uh, now you go into the decompile tab, open the QZ folder, and yeah, this is all scary, but we won't be touching any of this. We're just gonna add one line, and it's S Origin, or at least I think that's how you spell it. Let me check. Uh, yeah. Just to be dead certain, I'm gonna copy and paste it. Yeah, it's definitely that. Um, I'll also link the wiki page of S Origin works. Pretty much all you need to know is you don't really want to edit the middle value, which is Y, and yeah, that's really about it. You're probably gonna want to edit Z. So I'm gonna put zero, wait, zero zero two, because. Putting a positive number for the z-axis makes it go lower, which is what we want, or at least what I want. So I'm going to save it, close it, and now, uh, well, that's pretty much it. As far as QZ, like, scripting goes, or whatever the time would be. Make sure you've selected Left 4 Dead for the compile tab, and put the QZ input to... Alright, I've got to change folder. Go to the decompile folder, pick the QZ folder we were just in as a QZ input, and then the output is the decompile folder we made earlier. Actually, give me a second to delete that other folder, because when that was from an earlier recording. Pick this, because this compile folder is where we're going to be sending the compile files to. Press compile. Wait. Now it's... Oh, shit. Is it done? Yeah, it's done. Now that it's done... Um, don't close it, but yeah. This is your compile folder. This is everything that you need. Now we're going to want to uh, go back to Left 4 Dead 2. Go to bin. 
No, not bin. Uh, go on this part left there, not in here. Press bin. And scroll down until you see something called vpk.exe. If this, if you can't find this exe, the one I'm clicking on, if you can't find this, you will, I think you need to install Left 4 Dead Authority tools which you can get through the Steam library. Anyway, um, rename this to whatever you want. I'm just going to call this AK-47 Repositioned. I've probably spelled that wrong. But yeah, drop this folder onto the VPK because you need it to be turned into a VPK file for it to be read by the game. And then uh, go into your add-ons folder. If you don't have an add-ons folder, make it. And then drop the AK mod into there. And then launch the game. I really hope this has been recording. Yeah, that's okay, cool. The other recording was like 22 minutes. So it was way longer than it had to be. And, uh... Oh, shit. Now we just wait, or I just wait until our map, our workshop map loads in. N nearly missed the keyboard. Spastic moment. Yeah, uh, from here, if we just, I'm just waiting for my map to load and then to test it. Ugh. I should probably not, I should probably just be running vanilla, so you, you know for a fact I'm not just using another mod, but I mean. I'm not a cunt, so. But yeah. No, we'll go to the AK and see. Everybody grab a weapon. Yeah, this worked. Um, hell, I could honestly release this. You know. Because it's just a lower AK. Just keep in mind, this is based on an older version of a model. So, it has 3D shells, which some people might like, and it worked just fine for Left 4 Dead 2 characters, but they're busted for one. But, um, yeah. Works perfectly fine. Wait, wait, ah, alright, six bunny ops. No hand issues. Um, I mentioned hands, or at least I think I have. Anyway, one issue with hand, uh, with jiggle boned objects is your hands will start to fall, like, the sorting really badly, which is why I'm using the older versions of the models. But yeah, I hope you find this useful, but I do want to specify. The update folder contains last stand assets, and they will not work doing this. And I don't know how to get them to work doing it by using Origin. I don't think they work at all, to be honest. But I know there is a way to get them to get the same result. My FOV, I think he's... my. I know my... Wait, what's my view model? I think my view model FOV is like 60, and my world FOV is 90. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this, and I hope that you find this useful. Bye-bye.